Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about the ROC curve. The receiver operating characteristic ROC curve is another common tool used with binary classifier. It is very similar to the precision recall curve, but instead of plotting precision versus recall, the ROC curve plots true positive rate, another name for recall, against the false positive rate. The FPR is the ratio of negative instances that are incorrectly classified as a positive. It is equal to 1 minus true negative rate, which is the ratio of negative instances that are correctly classified as negative. The TNR is also called specificity. Hence, the ROC curve plus sensitivity recall versus 1 minus specificity. To plot ROC curve, you first need to compute the TPR and FPR for various threshold values using ROC curve function. From scikit-learn.metrics, import ROC curve. FPR TPR thresholds equal to ROC curve y train 5 y scores. Then you can plot the FPR against the TPR using Matplot library. This code produces the plots. Definition plot ROC curve function FPR TPR label equal to none. PLT dot plot FPR TPR line width equal to 2, label equal to label, PLT dot plot 0, 01, comma 0, 01, k dash dash, PLT dot axis 0, 01, 0, 01, PLT dot x label, false positive rate font size equal to 16, PLT dot y label, true positive rate font size equal to 16, PLT dot figure, figure size equal to 8, 6, 8, comma 6, Plot ROC curve FPR comma TPR. Save figure ROC curve plot PLT dot show. Once again, there is a trade off. The higher the recall TPR, the more false positive FPR the classifier produces. The dotted line represents the ROC curve of purely random classifier. A good classifier stays far away from the line as a possible toward the top left corner. One way to compare classifiers is to measure the area under the curve AUC. A perfect classifier will have ROC AUC equal to 1, whereas a purely random classifier will have ROC AUC equal to 0 0.5. Scikit-Learn provides a function to compute the ROC AUC. From scikit-learn.metrics, import ROC AUC scores. ROC AUC score Y train 5 comma Y scores the result equal to 0 0.96 since the ROC curve is so similar to the precision recall curve or PR curve you may wonder how to decide which one to use as a rule of thumb you should prefer the PR curve whenever the positive class is rare or when you care more about the false positive than the false negative and ROC curve otherwise. For example, looking at the previous ROC curve and the, R and the ROC AUC score, you may think that the classifier is really good, but this is mostly because there are a few positive fives compared to the negatives, non fives. In con contrast, the PR curve makes it clear that the classifier has a room for improvement. The curve could be closer to the top right corner. Let's train a random forest classifier and compare its ROC curve and ROC AUC score to the SGD classifier. First, you need to get a scores for each instance in the training set, but due to the to the way it works, the random forest classifier class doesn't have a decision function method. Instead, it has a prediction a probability method. Scikit Learn classifier generally have one or the other. The prediction probability method returns an array containing a row bare instance and a column bare class, each containing the probability that the given instance belongs to the given class. As uh, for example. 70% uh, chance the image represents a 5. From scikit-learn.ensemble import random forest classifier. Forest classifier object equal to random forest classifier and estimators equal to 10, comma random forest equal to 42. Why probability forest equal to cross validation predictions forest classifier object, exit train, 
why train five CV equal to three method equal to uh, prediction probability. But to plot ROC curve, you need scores, not the probabilities. A simple solution is to use the positive classes of probability as the score. So, y scores forest equal to y uh, probability forest open square brackets colon comma one. So, score equal to probabilities of positive classes. Now you are ready to plot ROC curve. It is useful to plot the first ROC curve as I well to see how they compare. Uh, so, PLT dot figure, figure size equal to eight comma six. PLT dot, uh, first thing FPR, uh, forest, TPR forest, threshold forest equal to ROC curve, Y train five, y scores forest plt dot figure figure size eight comma six plt dot blood fpr comma tpr comma v colon comma line width equal to two label equal to sgd pl plot roc curve function uh, fpr forest tpr forest random forest as a label this is the parameter of this function. PLT dot legend location equal to lower right, font size equal to 16, save figure as a name ROC curve conversion plot, PLT dot show. As you can see here, the random forest classifiers ROC curve looks much better than the SGD classifiers. It comes much closer to the top left corner. As the result, it is ROC AUC score is also significantly better. ROC AUC score Y train five comma Y scores forest. The result equal to 0.99. Try measuring the precision and recall scores. You should find 98% uh, precisions and 82% uh, recall. Not too bad. Thanks for watching.